Christchurch kids. So today our song is Guide My Feet. Um, you might not know it, but like all the songs we sing, it's simple, easy to catch on, and I hope you'll sing along. All right, ready? Hello, I am Brandon's mustachioed friend Anselm, ready to read you some Bible stories. People say we look alike, but I don't see it. Anyways, uh, we are going to be reading the story of Joshua today. Joshua and Jericho. Can you say that with me? Joshua and Jericho. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Israelites had finally gotten to the land God promised. They stood outside the tall, tall walls of the city called Jericho. God told Joshua that it was time for them to take over the city. So Joshua told the Israelites about God's plan. Here's what we will do, said Joshua. Joshua counted off seven priests from the group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You will each play a shofar. Keep blowing all the time, even if your lips get tired. So these things down here, that's a shofar. It's like a big horn and they go Have you seen them before? Next, Joshua looked at the soldiers in the group. Grab your weapons and walk in front of the priests. The rest of you walk behind the priests. Everyone needs to walk quietly. Any questions? Okay, let's go. The horns were loud. The people of Jericho could hear them through the thick stone walls of the city. What was happening? The Israelites kept walking left, right, 
left went their marching feet around the city. The Israelites wondered how God's plan was going to work as they looked at the thick city walls. The Israelites did this for six whole days. The people of Jericho watched every day. They had never seen anything like this before. Should they be afraid or should they laugh? On the seventh day, the Israelites got up at sunrise and walked around the city seven times. I'm noticing a lot of sevens here. After the seventh time, Joshua told the people to shout right after the priests blew the horns one last time. God's plan was for the walls to fall flat when the Israelites shouted. The Israelites shouted so loud, the ground began to shake. The, <laughs> the stone walls began to shake too, and soon they started to crumble. Huge stones crashed to the ground. The wall came tumbling down. The Israelites got what God had promised. Hey, where did my accent go? Can you roll up a piece of paper to make a shofar and march around your room blowing it? Nothing else. Hey, Otto! Did you find it? What? The computer drive thingy? Are we still looking for that? Yes! Leo said if we could find his computer drive with the map of Jericho on it, we can use it for our Sunday school presentation. He said it's a black box with Leo's drive, number seven, written on the side. Hey, Ada, do you think this is it? Ah, uh, those are just parts to a robot Leo hasn't made yet. Well, if this isn't the computer drive, I'm gonna mess with it, Dad. <laughs> yeah! Go for it, Robot Arms! Dash party! <clears throat> uh, okay. Wait, wait. We need to get back to work. Shutting down. Huh. Well, that's not the off button. It was? And you just threw it into a barrel of liquid nitrogen. And what exactly does liquid nitrogen do? It freezes things in seconds. Oh, so we probably can't get the map of Jericho off the drive while it's frozen, can we? No. Hmm. Oh, I know. Leo has instructions on everything in his lab. I know. I highly doubt that he'll have instructions for a frozen computer drive in... Found it! Oh. See? It's all right here. Really? Well, what does it say? Uh, it says, if we faithfully follow every step of these instructions, it will unfreeze the computer drive and it'll still work. That's great! To the washing machine! Wait, what? Working. Well, the instructions say there's only one more step to go. Finally. We just have to activate Leo's freezing machine. What? But we want it to not be frozen. Yeah, I'm not sure how this will help. But Leo's instructions have never failed us before. No, we should use Leo's thawing machine. But the instructions say to use Leo's freezing machine. You just agreed that you don't see how that'll help. <laughs> there are a lot of things I don't understand. But I trust that Leo knows what he's talking about. Hmm. Leo has been right about everything in his lab. All right, we'll trust him. Even if we don't see how it will possibly work. You want to push the big red button? Of course! Let's do it! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Did you guys enjoy that video? I know I did. What were the kids doing in Leo's lab? And how did the map become frozen? That's right. When do you need to follow directions like the kids needed to follow directions? And how did the map become unfrozen? Who asks you to follow directions? Yeah. Even when sometimes they don't make sense, right? So these next questions are going to be about the Bible story we read all the way from before we watched that video a long time ago, so I hope you remember it. But what about God's directions in that passage seem to make sense? Remember they were told to march around the city and blow horns made of shofars. They're, they're like ram's horns and doing it for seven days. Did that seem a little odd to you? Could you really, could you understand why they were asked to do that? If you were trying to get into a huge walled city, would you walk around it for seven days and blow a horn and walk quietly and uh, get all the animals to come with you? Or would you just go in? If you were one of the Israelites, what questions would you have for Joshua? Would you say, hey, what are we doing here? What is, what's the point of all this? And who are people in your life who give you directions and instructions? And how do you feel about those instructions, especially when you don't understand them? How does this story show us that God was faithful to Israel? That might be a hard one, so you might need to talk to your parents about that one. All right, he's back with the guitar. This is me, I'm, I'm back with the guitar. So today's memory verse is gonna be Psalm 25, four. Show me your ways, O oh Lord, teach me your paths. And I think it has a lot to do with what we learned about today. And it's a prayer. Can we pray it together as we sing? Show me your ways, O oh Lord, teach me your paths. Ready to learn the song? <clears throat> bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. All right, y'all have a great week and I'll see you here next time.